Let's create the lighting and materials for this scene using Blender and a bit of post-processing with Photoshop. I have created this simple scene. Patreon subscribers can download the complete project files. Let's start with the composition of our image. Add a camera. I usually track the camera to an empty object so I can use it as the camera target. For interior scenes, 1.4 meters is a good height to place the camera. For a small space like this, photographers use lower focal lengths. Avoid focal lengths below 20 mm unless you are going for a more artistic approach. This composition looks about right, so let's start with the lighting. Select Cycles. This is the default scene lighting, just a grey default setup. Change the max samples to 64, that's more than enough to work in real time. Turn on the noise and select GPU compute. You can also choose optics if it is available for you. For the final render settings, I will lower the noise threshold and max samples as well. Let's start lighting by adding an environment texture. I will use this free HDR from Polygon. Check if you have node wrangle enabled. Press Ctrl T and rotate the HDR until you get a nice lighting setup. This looks perfect to me. We have already created a nice composition quickly and we are ready to start creating the materials. You need a glass node connected to the output and you get a basic glass material. But the tear light is missing, so we need to create a mix shader, a transparent node and a lighting path node. This will make the material act as a transparent to light rays. You can change the color from white to grey to make it less transparent. Let's continue with the following exercise. Before creating materials, let's paint the object to get an idea of the general look and feel of the image. This can save you a lot of time. Always start with the biggest objects, since they affect the lighting the most. Usually the floor is the largest, so I will select a color similar to a wooden floor. For the table, I want a darker wood. And for the counter, a lighter one. You can already see we have set up a nice contrast in color and value between the objects. Let's add a few more colors. If you want to assign the same material to other chairs, select them all, then select the one with the material last. Press Ctrl L and link materials. A few more objects and we are done. I like the color palette of the scene. I will start by adding a picture to this frame. I have this poster and I will simply connect it as a base material. In this case, the object has good UVs, but sometimes you will find that the texture does not fit right. All you need to do is to fix the vertices in the UV editor. We will keep talking about this. Did you know that supporting this channel as an enthusiast member on my Patreon allows you to download all project files and gives you free access to all items in my Patreon shop? I will fix the scale of these objects a bit. A good tip, avoid meshes intersecting other meshes. Always leave a small gap between them. This creates a nice shadow scene. We are ready to continue with the floor texture. I will use textures I downloaded for free from Polygon. The scale looks wrong. So I use this nose to fix it. Now I would like to add more contrast, so I will use a curves node. I also want to adjust the saturation and hue with this node. The base material looks good, now add the normal map. Set it to non-color and plug it in. Don't forget to plug the same mapping node into all textured nodes. I'm also adding the roughness map. If you want it shinier, you can use the RGB curves node. You can also increase or decrease contrast by adjusting the curve. 
I have another texture from Polygon. I make it darker using curves and also tweak hue and saturation. Add the normal map and adjust the mapping. It is completely wrong. This is one of the reasons for low quality renders, bad mapping. I will try a quick fix. Go to UV editor and choose the map from the wood we are working with. I can quickly scale it this to make the wood appear larger on the table. But I don't like the direction of the wood grain on the edge, so I will make a different unwrap. Let's try a smart UV. That worked great. It is good enough to me. A bit more tweaking and the table is done. I'm using the same wood here. Just need to fix the unwrap slightly. I will add the roughness map and reduce shininess using a curves node. If you want to reduce overall reflection, you can lower the value to 1. For the counter wood, I will use the material we already created. Unwrapping is all wrong here, so I will show in all the counters and use Q projection in edit mode. I will lighten the wood with curves, also adjust the roughness and scale, and a few more tweaks to the base map. For the handles, I downloaded this map. Check to unwrap as always, use Q projection and set the value to 1. I'm trying to fix the scale of this texture without success. If this happens to you, go to the item panel and check the object scale, it should be 1. If it's not, press Ctrl A and apply the scale. Then, do Coup Projection and Wrap again and the texture is now correct. Add the Normal Map and Roughness Map and tweak them with curves. The Normal Map looks too strong, so I would reduce the strain by half. The metal looks nice, but I wanted a different color. Create a mix node and an RGB node, set the blend mode to overlay, and now you can change the metal to any color you want. Select all the handles and leak materials. Now I am creating a plaster material. Sometimes the base material is very subtle, and what matters most is the normal map. Apply the material to the walls. Select the faces you want to separate, create a new material and click Assign. I will use this texture. To align the tiles, go to the UV editor and place each face over the correct tile. Moving forward with the countertop. I will use this texture. Also creating a simple plastic material.
For the legs of the chair, I want a simple metallic material. Since I don't want it to look perfect, I will add this texture. The unwrap is a mess, so I will quickly fix it. It is almost unacceptable, but I don't care, it is good enough. We can play with the curves now. I think the effect is nice, but too strong. I will use a roughness base and add a coat of smudges like this. You can add more detail using the same map, inverted and multiplied. The screws are just a simple black material. For the fabric I will use this texture. Set a high roughness and increase the strength of the normal map. You can create any fabric color you want using this technique. For the core time, I will use the fabric material which has created as a base and modify it. I also downloaded a few free models and copied them into my scene. You can easily make them lighter or darker like this. Ok, let's render this one. Welcome to Photoshop. Convert the layer to smart objects for filters, then go to Camera Raw. First thing, fix burning out highlights. Lower the value, but not too much or you will look weird. We have restored some details, but lost contrast. Let's bring that back. In the color tab, I will make the image slightly cooler since we already have a lot of warm colors. The FX tab increase clarity and texture for better surface detail. Also remove haze and add a soft vignette. This is a nice starting point. Next, I work with curves. I want certain areas to stand out more. Like the dining area. The image looks ok, but I want to add some shadows. Let's go back to Blender. I added these planes with a simply tree alpha. Now we have nice cheap shadows. Back to Photoshop. Move this image to the same file. Duplicate the original, convert a new one for a small object and apply the filters to it. Now compare both options. The one with shadows looks much more natural, much better. So, what is that? I don't want to go back to Blender again, so let's try Photoshop AI. Generate wooden floor.
I think the third one looks good enough. This AL staff is fun, so let's try adding a dog here. Fix the edges with the mask. Also, desaturate these lines. Maybe add a book here. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it is okay. Fix a few more details. And that's it, we have created a nice cozy interior image. Can you think of different shots for this scene? Like this one? What do you think about using AI for those final touches? Subscribe and like for more content, thank you.